Hello guys, last episode we talked about the fact that um, there are um, different concepts that are tied to Python programming. So that concept of um, the fact that you have objects and, um, and these objects are contained in containers. So for example, we had this box which is kind of like a container and contains this object wood. We have the box A containing the object 21. Then also we talked about from functions. We talked a bit about functions, inbuilt functions like prints and then um, input. So then um today we are basically talking about variables, identifiers and then um, expressions. But before we do that, I'll need to talk about a little bit about assignments. So I want to talk about assignment. Assignment is um kind of the same thing as um, what I explained earlier. So as mean you have an a container like um you have um cats. Okay, yes, let's call it animal. And then in this container you have um, subsequently we'll talk about um how you can um you can define multiple um multiple objects inside the container using arrays lists and so on and so forth but basically let's just stick to the normal variables like string so now imagine this is this animal is a string called cat so we are okay with that if we ask the um, system python if we ask the interpreter to print the um, variable animal so I note that Python is case sensitive. So if, if I typed a small letter A here, it will give me an error that animal doesn't exist. So check that out. So it doesn't even um it didn't even produce any results at the end of the day. So the reason for that is that um in Python you have to use an input first. So the program will stop before you input something. So you notice that in the code block I have an input function. So let me I'm just type some gibberish and input. Then immediately I do that, it gives an error. So the reason for that is that in Python, if you have not um inputted your your if you've not inputted whatever data you want to input, the subsequent code blocks will not work. So this line seven and line eight, they are not working because the um, line five which is input has not been executed and that depends on the um, user so that is one thing to take note in python always be careful of input input and um, function because it um, prevents the subsequent code blocks from, ex from executing so moving on let's get rid of the inputs that's going to it's going to make it difficult so play button and then you have this error so what's the source of the error it's actually a name error as you can see a name and now is not defined so let's go back and it's it becomes obvious that um the small letter the capitalized animal is different from the non-capitalized one so let's change to the capitalized one which is the only one that is defined in this particular file so this is a python file so let's click save and play and then you can see that it's actually output it on the screen now a word about assignments i was talking about um something about assignments yes earlier okay so what i wanted to say was that um i could um, actually redefine animal as animal animal which is that um variable will be let's say it is um plus equal to plus equal to um, is a funny creature now many of you might not know what this means but this is this simply means this code block of line 8 is simply telling the Python interpreter to add this string to the previous um, definition of um, the previous code block that involved um, 
by animal so when i click play, play you will see that um okay actually i didn't ask it to print so it won't print until i, until I say it's set it to do so that's one of the funny things about computer programming it will not do something except you actually to do it it doesn't have any intuition so here we go anima and then when we print anima you notice that now anima has been um, redefined it, um, it is now defined as cat is a funny creature so that is kind of like an assignment i've assigned a new string in this case i've concatenated the um the um previous animal with a new string so that concatenation is a kind of assignment there are different assignments in python we'll be going through each of them but in this episode let's just deal with assignments hopefully next episode we'll, we'll formally deal with variables and all the rest so thanks for watching